All right, I'd like to jump in here and solve this problem, um, and I can show you how to use your calculator to do a linear interpolation. Um, so the problem says find the enthalpy for water at pressure equals 3,000 kilopascals and temperature equals 240 degrees Celsius. Um, so I always like to start in the table um, for saturated water, and I'm given a pressure, so I'm gonna look at uh, my values here at 3,000 kilopascals. Um, and here it says the saturation temperature is 233 um, degrees. And so um, if I drew uh, my PV diagram, and I have the dome, and I have this uh, 233 degree isobar, 233.85 degrees Celsius isobar, um, I know that my temperature given is higher than that. 240 is higher than that. So um, I need to be somewhere above that isobar at that pressure. Um, and so I'm going to be somewhere over here outside the dome. I'm going to be in the saturated or the superheated steam region. Um, so I need to switch tables. I'm going to go down here to this table. Um, and again, I'm looking for uh, 3,000 kilopascals. That's this value here at 240 degrees. Well, I have 250 degrees. Um, and then this row above it is blank. That's because that value, 225, is inside the dome at that pressure. But it does give me the line, the saturated vapor line inside the dome and the corresponding temperature. And so I could interpolate between these two values. This value here should be equal to 233.85 degrees Celsius. And so I can, I can use my calculator to interpolate between those two values. So I'm going to do that real quick here. Um, so if I go to stat, um, and hit edit, I can enter in my um, x values and my y values that I'd like to make a line for, and then I can do a linear interpolation between the two. Um, so my x values, I have 233.85, hit enter, and then I have 250, hit enter, and then I'm going to go to my, um, my y values, and I have, uh, for enthalpy, I have 20, Eight, oops, two, eight, zero, three point two uh, for my first value. My second value is two, eight, five, six point five, and I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so I got my values in there. I'm going to hit stat. I'm going to go over to go to calc. I'm going to do a linear regression. And hit enter. Um, and I'm just going to hit enter again, and I have now this equation for the line. Um, and if I plug in x equals 240, this will spit out my enthalpy. Um, I can have my calculator do that for me. I can do y equals, and I can insert that. I'll hit vars. I'm going to go down to statistics because that's I just did my regression in statistics, and the equation is the regression equation. So I hit enter. It's going to paste that into the y value. And then the next thing I want to do before I graph this is I want to give it some bounds. The default bounds aren't going to be good for, for this problem. So my x values, I'm going to say, um, I can just plot somewhere between 200 and 300. And my y values, oops, sorry about that. My y values, I'm going to put somewhere between let's say just between 2,000 and 3,000. Um, hit enter and then I can hit graph. I'm just going to plot my line um, between those two points. And if I do trace, I can type in the x value I want to see, 240, um, and I can get my answer, 283.5. 283 um, so h is equal to 2,823.5 kilojoules per kilogram. And that is the enthalpy of water at 240. Um, hope that was helpful. Um, good luck.